So, this has been my background for approximately a year, even though this picture is about two years old. And that's because um, this person in the picture is actually my friend who passed away last year. And April 2nd marks the full year she's been passed. Um, I take loss very hard. I haven't really dealt with a big loss. This was one of the first big losses I've ever dealt with. Um, <clears throat> because I don't have family, so my friends aren't my family. My friend, her name was Caitlin. Let me tell you how I met her. I met her um, when we were working at a restaurant called Pita Pit in Ann Arbor. I was 18 years old and I was just moved in with my boyfriend and going through a lot and um, she was one year older than me, 19, and she was the shift leader. And she was the most chill, funnest person ever. And one day she just quit out of nowhere. And I remember I like hit her up and I was like, you know, I still want to be friends. Like I still want to come like see you. She just got an apartment. And I came to her apartment and Mark grows roses. So I cut some roses for her and I put them in a vase. And she was ecstatic. She kept those roses until they were like black in the vase because it meant so much to her that they came from like a, my garden, from my house. Um, and I didn't just buy them. But um, I was trying to send her good vibes and good energy and I don't know what it was about Caitlin, but it, she, she was someone that really inspired me. Like she's one of those people that when you meet you'll never forget. Um, so ever since that we were best friends. We were really close, we hung out a lot for that whole six months um up until we had a little bit of a moment where we didn't talk we had a falling out and i regret that so much now looking back um, and then she got in contact with me in march and we stopped talking around uh november so it was a while she messaged me and she's like i miss you and i like i'm so sorry i want to be your friend like we fought over something stupid and um when i came to her she was really really in a bad spot so my friend Caitlin struggled with alcoholism, being an alcoholic, and honestly, me being 18 when I met her, 19, I just thought she liked to drink, and this is really personal, but Mark is also, is also an alcoholic, he's been eight years sober, so I've never known Mark as a drinker or anything, but he has to continuously work at it to stay healthy, it's like, ever going, you know? And people can get into a debate, I know there's a whole debate on if it's a disease or not, but from my personal experience in seeing what it's done to people. So when I met up with her, she was very, very drunk and she had a little Yorkie with her and I love animals. So this is my little puppy, Alice. And um, she had a little nine-year-old Yorkie because she was in a bad spot. Her and her boyfriend recently broke up and she got her second DUI and crashed and totaled her car for a second time and she was Tell me, please don't tell nobody, please don't tell nobody. She was so humiliated by it. And um, we were walking outside and she was jerking the dog. And the dar dog was, um, you know, it was nine years old, so it was like not, and she was drunk, so she didn't know what she was doing. And she was, you know, I told her goodnight and stuff and she went to bed. And then the next time I saw her was almost, was two days after her passing. So March 31st, last year. So after we hung out that night with the dog, she texted me this. <clears throat> I loved every second of last night. Thank you, my blessing. I said, me too. Love you, Caitlin. She said, I love you most. Can't wait to see you. See you again soon. <laughs> okay, so. And then we hung out April 1st. And um, she was supposed to see a movie with me and Mark, but I knew she wouldn't. She never left her house, so I didn't know what I was thinking. So I was like, you know, dang, I really want to see her, and I know she's not going to come to this movie. And I'm worried about her, because yesterday she was in that bizarre state of mind, you know, with the dog. And I'm like, Katie, Mark is actually really exhausted from work and would rather go to a movie later. So I'm all yours. Want me to come over to your apartment? I'm crying because, like, little did I know that was, like... The best thing I could have done was go see her one last time, you know. 
I went to go see her and I met her up at her house and there was already someone with her. It was so like Caitlyn because she would invite a bunch of people at once. She just don't want to be alone, especially since her and her boyfriend were separated and broke up. She was just alone in her apartment. And so when I met her there, she um, had her other friends. So there was three of us. It was me and two other girls. She asked us to pray over her and we did. I asked like God to give her strength and give her peace and let her know. Let I specifically remember saying, like, let her know she has three people here, you know, in her time of need. And But Caitlin was going through a lot. Um, there was a lot of personal stuff. She also had a brother who passed away from over drinking. And that night we all talked about our spiritual beliefs and what we believed in. And it was just so bizarre now looking back at it because I didn't know that was the last night I'd be hanging out with her. And, uh, you know, we're just trying to tear up because she's been alone and she's like, I just want to be with my friends, have a good time, instead of just being all by herself. And, I didn't know these other girls and they didn't know me, but it was like we were all there for Caitlin. That night I ended up leaving and they made sure they stayed and made sure she got into bed and she was good and everything. And then the next day <clears throat> And then I got a call um, and he said Have you seen Caitlin's Facebook? And I didn't have Facebook. Everyone was putting rest in peace on her wall. She passed away the night of April 2nd. I comprehend it. I felt like she was like across the street, or, like at her apartment. So I drove like right to her apartment and the police were there. But yeah, she passed away from, um, I think as far as I know, over drinking. And just looking at what that's like and um, what it's like to go through that and how your body reacts and everything. She passed away at 20. There's one word I can use to describe her. It's um, compassionate. And that's what I want to, I'm striving to be and I'm always going to keep trying to be every day. She's not going to be enjoying life no more. You know, I'm, I know that sounds stupid to say, but like, I know some of the times my videos are all over the place, but like, I just make videos about whatever. And this was an important thing I really wanted to make a video about. But thanks for watching. I love you, Caitlin. I miss you.